Hi, this is Kevin Osborne from BaldWisdom.com. As you know from my previous post, I've really been enjoying the SEMA X5C quadcopter, uh, which was about uh, 50, 60 bucks, uh, and uh, it comes with a camera and everything like that, and it's a lot of fun to fly. Um, one time I crashed it, and I had to replace uh, one of these gear pods for the motors because the shaft was bent. And when I was inside looking at it, I was like, well, this is really pretty cool. It's very simple. And I looked online, and all the replacement parts are very cheap and, and available. And I thought, ooh, what, what if we use those to make another copy of the quadcopter as sort of a ghetto copter? We, we'll, we'll lose the shell. Uh, we'll use uh, barbecue skewers. We might do a little 3D printing. So I think it'd be a fun project. And in this part one, I'm just going to go over the parts. So I ordered a full part set. Um, because it was cheaper and, and easier, uh, even though I may not even use the prop guards or the landing gear. But it has a full set of propellers, uh, including a couple extras. It's got all of the, the motor things, and they actually, these conveniently actually fit the barbecue, bar, bamboo barbecue skewers that I have. And it has uh, motors and the gears for the motors. One thing that I didn't think of uh, to check is that the screws for the propellers aren't present in the kit. So I'll, um, I'll need to get those. I think I, I did sorted some, but they're coming from China, so it'll take a while. Uh, so in the meantime, I'll probably just borrow the ones from my existing quadcopter. Now, this, this whole set was about $12. Uh, you can get it. Uh, there, there are sets, if you order them from China, that include the screws. They're a little more expensive, um, but uh, that's probably the way to go if you wanted to do this project. You can also order the, the transmitter and the batteries and everything like that. I had extra batteries for the, the quadcopter and the charger and everything, so I don't, ha I don't have to do that. And so I think my, oh, and then I had also had to order uh, the controller board. The controller board was about $5, uh, and it came from China. And uh, the, these parts came from the US on Amazon, but the, uh, this, this is the, the most critical component. Uh, so we've got $17 and we'll have hopefully a functioning quadcopter, but I'm going to use the transmitter from the CMA X5C. So if you bought the transmitter, it's $10 to $15 more. You're getting up close to the cost of the, the CMA X5 without the camera. So, uh, but you can still, you're still getting a pretty cheap quadcopter for, you know, under $30. And it's a, it's a, it looks like it's going to be a fun thing to experiment with. Now, whether or not we're going to be successful, uh, time will tell. But I just thought I'd share the plan with you and uh, look forward to another update uh, on baldwisdom.com.